Hello, welcome to Sunset Studios. Thanks for watching. And today we are going to make this adorable chicken, a different chicken than last time, as you can see. So I have this oval shaped rock that I've painted uh, two coats of white on. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a crazy looking rock, but I think it'll still work. That's what's nice about the ch this chicken is it doesn't really have a strong shape. The biggest, um, the most important part, I would say, are the eyes. And that's what we'll start with. So I'm gonna start right about here. One nice big eye. And then the second eye, which is gonna touch it. Okay, and I definitely have one eye bigger than the other, but that's okay. And then I'm going to draw the um, comb at the top. Okay, and then the rest of the body is just kind of a blob. So I go right from like the middle of the eye not going to worry too much about that bumpiness. And then I am going to also draw the beak. Okay. And then this red wattle at the bottom will be, it will be red. Okay. I'm going to get my paint ready. Okay. We are ready to start painting. Um, I'm going to start with the black of the body of the chicken because there is so much to do there. Most of the design really is the black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and the nice thing about black is that, you know, one coat may pretty much cover what I need to do. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and finish this and then we'll move along. Okay, so I've done the black. Now I'm going to take my thinner brush and I'm going to mix a little bit, just in my paint tray, I'm gonna take a little bit of light gray. Oops, there it is. Okay, on my brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I'm just gonna give those two colors a mix. And then I'm going to use it to paint his eyes. So it's a very pale gray. And if I want them a little bit lighter, I can add a little more white. It's pretty easy. Okay, so that's basically one eye. And now I'm gonna do the other. And as you can see, the eyes look like they have a fair amount of shading to make them look three-dimensional. So that's why I'm starting with like a palish gray color because it will really make the eyes stand out. And now as you can see, it's a little darker on the bottom. I like that. I'm just playing around, okay? You just kind of keep going back to your mixture. Some of it's a little bit lighter, some of it is a little darker and that's exactly what you want. So I'm trying to get a little lighter on the top of the eye and a little bit darker on the bottom. And like right here, I'm gonna do a little darker. And that's it, okay? Those eyes are good. Now, my next step is I'm going to do the red in the Oopsie, way too much on my brush. Okay, the red in the comb at the top. Okay. And again, I probably will do a couple of coats of red, but not a problem. It really helps to have your rock painted white Initially, it, you know, it helps you not have to do so many coats. And I tend to do kind of rough coat on the, the first one. I can see my circles aren't perfect, but that's okay. That's something I can go back and fix. 
when I'm doing my second coat. Okay, and there's his red wattle. Okay, and I see I got a little bit of red on the black. I don't worry about that because that'll just take a tiny drop of black to fix that. Oops, all right. So now I'm going to take some orange and get his, the basics of his nose or beak, sorry, <laughs> painted. And I could just put another coat of orange and say, that looks great. I could be done there, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna go around, just kind of spread it. I'm gonna take, and notice I'm not actually um, washing my brush in between. I've got like three colors on my brush right now. And I'm gonna do a little bit of red at the top and I'm just gonna spread that around. And again, it just is a little, it's a way of shading that brings out the beak and makes it look pretty cool. Now, this one, I have a lot of red at the top and that's fine, I can add some more red, but I don't have to. I could have been just satisfied with the orange, but I do think that looks nice. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the yellow and the orange together on my brush and just kind of blend it all. Okay, so that is good, that's done. And now I am going to dry this and put a second coat on the red. Okay, everything's dry. The red has two coats, and now I'm going to go ahead and do a background on, um, on the chicken because that's actually really important in this design because this color makes it pop. And again, if you didn't like the orange and yellow, you could choose a different background color, but I actually think taking um, the same color as what we've done on the beak makes it really look nice. I love these colors, so I'm gonna use them, but you are your own artist and you can use whatever you like. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty rough, just putting in the orange. I'm using a little thicker brush, but I'm gonna switch at some point and use a thinner brush to get in between the, um, the comb spots up on top. But just to get the idea, this is all I'm doing right now, putting on orange, okay? Now, I do wanna show you one thing before I go ahead and do a second coat, before I dry it and everything. Um, almost ready to show you that. Okay, I guess I can just Real careful, just kind of get in there just to give you the idea. Okay, so now I'm gonna, well, I guess I didn't have to clean my brush, but I did. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the yellow and I'm just gonna go right over the orange. Okay, and, and just haphazardly, just any old place, and just kind of work it into the orange and it just, I love how this looks. I think it's really nice. And, and it doesn't have to be exactly the same everywhere. I'm still leaving plenty of orange showing. Okay, yeah, so that's about it for the yellow. If I wanted, I could go back with more orange, but I'm pretty satisfied with that. And then some other details that we wanna do I have these eyes looking at this chicken, right? But if I were to put the dots here and here, then my chicken would be looking at that chicken. And that's exactly what I wanna do. So I'm taking my pencil tip, I dipped it into the black, and I'm going to put one eye like that, dipping again, just a quick dip, and I'm gonna put one eye on the far side. 
<laughs> I love that. Okay, and then I wipe off my pencil tip so that I can use it for, um, again, later. And then what I've done is I have a little itty bitty bit of black outlining the top of the eye. You don't have to, but I kind of think it looks nice. I could try to use a marker, but I know that my markers aren't that thin and having a little trouble getting this, but if I don't really like it that much, it's easy to fix. I can just go over it with the whitish gray color, but I think it's okay. Okay, so I've got that. And then what I want to do is clean my brush, dry it, and I want to go in with the white, and I'm going to just add a few lines on the crown. Oopsie, I went in the wrong color there. Okay, I'm going to get more white, and I'm just going to do a few white lines, which I will show you a little more closely in a second, but I'm also going to get the beak Nice white line there. And even on the waddle, just a few little white lines. And I guess I did a little bit of an outline around it. So I can do that or don't really have to. Okay, now the other thing that's really, really fun is we get to dip our pencil tip in white, did that dip? It didn't seem to do anything, hold on. Oh, I see my paint is drying up a little bit. Ugh. Okay, let me um, dry this and I'll be right back. Okay. It's time to do the dots that I've done on the chicken. And again, I'm gonna take my pencil tip, I'm gonna dip it in my white. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under his eye and I'm just gonna go dot, 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 okay? So I didn't dip again in between because what I wanna do, this one's a little harder to show, but again, I'm gonna go dot, dot. So the dots are getting smaller there. And that just emphasizes the eye and I just kinda like how that looks. And then I'm just gonna do my haphazard dots. I'm gonna let them get nice and small. Some are gonna be bigger, some are smaller, and there'll probably be parts of your rock that are not that easy to dot on because there's a big bump or a ridge, but just do your best, and it's just kind of fun. I've never really seen a chicken that looks like this, but maybe they're there somewhere. Okay, I think it's easier if I pick up my rock to show you and I'm just gonna keep going around. Almost done. And then our chicken will be finished. And you can do as many or as few dots as you like. I like a lot, but you don't have to. And then even down below, I have a few spots of black where I could go over the paint just to make it look a little better. But that, oh, sorry, <laughs> that is it. The chicken is finished. This was a little more complicated project. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned. I think next time I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay with the farm animal theme because I had a request for farm animals. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up and recommend my channel, Sunset Studios, to your friends. Take care.